So let's go in here. Um, we need to first of all set a few variables up. So we need to say two is equal to something. And that's just going to be my email address. So I'm going to be sending this to my own email address. Uh, since it's a contact us form, the um, inquiries are going to come to me. So this is my email address. Uh, the next one is um, the subject. So I'm just going to predefine the subject as uh, contact form submitted just to let me know when I receive an email the subject is contact form submitted um, and um, what's this going to do is uh, it's going to just let me know that a contact form has been submitted that's all basically yeah it's up to you what you set the header to now the body is going to equal the contact text so the text that the contact uh, the user sorry has entered in this uh, text field um, here and um, we are going to also set headers and the headers is just going to be from and then the email address is going to come here so what why do we do this so let's I'll, I'll just put the variable in first so contact email now what this is going to do is when I receive the email on my squirrel mail client here um, when I get the email it's going to say it's from and the email address that the user actually typed in in the HTML form this way what I can do is I can quickly press reply and it will set up a reply to this email address where it came from. So it's a really nifty way of being able to quickly instantly reply uh, to a user after you've had a contact form submitted. And if you don't understand what I mean then uh, I'll show you a bit later uh, when I actually receive the email. So um, everything seems uh, set up now. Uh, we've got the contact text in there. Um, we've got from and uh, we need the uh, also the contact name so um, we can put this anywhere really we could say uh, body equals um, contact um, name and then we can append onto it remember uh, when we want to do a line break we need to use double quotation marks so we can append a line break on there so we'll have the contacts name and then a line break and then what they've written in the form so now that we've got each value um, here, we can uh, use the mail function. So mail, uh, the parameters are first of all who it's to, uh, and then the subject, uh, and then the body, and then the headers. Um, but what we want to do is we want to double check that the email has actually been sent. So we can enclose this in an if statement. And what this does is if this returns true, it means the mail has been successfully sent. So we can echo out a, com a confirmation message. Um, and we can say if mail then um, echo mail uh, or or uh, thanks for contacting us we'll remember to escape that character there um, because we're using uh, single quotation marks and we used a single quotation mark inside the string with single quotation marks uh, we'll be in touch soon for example um, otherwise, we want to let them know that uh, we couldn't send the mail at this time. Uh, we're not going to be echoing out any errors, so we want to put an at sign in front of the mail. So if this does return any errors, uh, we're not actually displaying these to the user. So now we can say echo, um, sorry, an error occurred. Oh, I spelled occurred wrong. Please try again later. Okay, so um, if the mail is sent and we're silencing this, so uh, if we do receive any errors from this, it won't be displayed to our user. We're going to say thanks for contacting us, we'll be in touch soon. The email will then be sent automatically even though it's inside an if condition. And then otherwise we're going to say sorry an error occurred, please try again later. So let's go ahead and save the changes and we'll come over to our contact form and test this out. So I've got my squirrel mail client open at the moment. This is a test email that came in earlier when I was testing this, uh, so don't worry about that for now, uh, but we'll uh, s fill out this form to see if we get an email back. So let's say Alex. Uh, my email address I'm going to set to alex at phpacademy.org, and here I'm going to say, hi, uh, just wondered um, how to, um, well we can write anything really, how to um, create a PHP file something silly like that because we're doing doing a PHP tutorial so why not so now let's click send thanks for contacting us we'll be in touch soon let's uh, go over to squirrel mail and click inbox 
and you can see that I've got an email from alex at phpacademy.org. Remember the email address um, that we are saying it's from is this email here that we filled out. Um, let's go ahead and click on it. Okay, so it says now, Alex, this is the um, user that has uh, sent uh, submitted this form, so the name of the person that submitted the form. And then, like I said before, we're breaking down and we're saying, hi, just wondered how to create a PHP file. So we've got the name of the user here um, and we've got the body of the uh, text that they filled out in the text area here. So now when we go to click reply here, what it will automatically do is reply to the email address that the user supplied in here. So this is a really useful way of doing things because then you also got their text here, their question that they asked here. And you can just come here and uh, type in your reply here. So that's how to create a basic contact form in PHP. Now there's a couple of things that you need to take into account um, before you actually put this on a public server. 